In this video, we're going to talk about gold trading for beginners and how you can build your own gold trading strategy. But let's start with a bit of history, first of all, to better understand gold. Gold has been traded since the dawn of civilization, and there's even data about how much it cost in 30 BC when it was used in Roman coins. Its revaluations even caused hyperinflation for a time. It was also a mainstay in the British Empire, as well as the United States in the previous two centuries. Nowadays, we have online trading, of course, without people touching or even seeing actual gold, but it's definitely kept an important place and role in modern times. Everyone with online access and money to trade or invest can potentially trade gold or its derivatives. That's why we think it's important to help beginner investors and traders understand how and what causes gold prices to go up or down. Let's start with the steps for creating your gold trading plan. First comes analysing the charts. At this stage, you have to determine what the trend is and if you're trading in a volatile period. Day traders can use the 5 and 30 minute charts, for example, but you should always look at the one hour and daily charts to see what the larger trend is. With this, you can determine whether you want to open a buy or a sell position. The second part of planning the trade is determining the three different price levels for the trade. Number one here is finding the price at which you're willing to open the position. Number two is the level at which you're thinking of taking profits. And number three is a level to set your stop losses. Always have these set in advance to manage the risk of your trade. To help you determine these three levels, you can identify, for example, the nearest support and resistance levels. You can either look at historical lows and highs that were previously tested, or you can use various trading indicators such as Fibonacci retracements or moving averages. These three components are part of technical analysis, something we often use on this YouTube channel to understand charts. But we also look at the fundamentals, the driving forces behind the change in price. The US dollar is one such major force. As gold is denominated in dollars, any rise or drop in the world's most popular currency is usually immediately reflected in the price of gold. Gold prices tend to increase when the dollar is falling. That is because, in relative terms, gold becomes more expensive and vice versa. Gold tends to decrease in value when the dollar is rising because the price of gold effectively becomes cheaper in dollar terms. The fifth thing you should keep in mind when trading gold are interest rates or real interest rates to be more precise. Gold has a correlation with them with prices typically rising when interest rates go down and prices of gold dropping if interest rates should rise. Real interest rates are calculated by subtracting the inflation rate from the nominal interest rate. This way, you get a percentage that is adjusted for inflation. Historically, gold prices have gone down when the real interest rate is below 1%. So by watching the interest rates of, for example, the, the Federal Reserve and other central banks across the world, you can find potential buying and selling opportunities, particularly if you're trading longer term positions. And talking of central banks, our next tip for gold trading is also related to these institutions. Central banks are some of the largest players on the global gold market as they buy and sell the precious metal to add or take away from their reserves. When central banks start buying more gold, that can cause the price to increase, at least in the short term. And if gold prices then subsequently form an uptrend, that could be an opportunity worth following. Another thing worth keeping an eye on is gold production and how the stocks of the various gold mining companies perform. Their work and the stock prices reflect how much gold is being mined and added into the system. The remaining gold in the ground is of course limited and expensive to e extract, but increasing demand and a rising price might provide funds for these companies to keep digging and getting more of it out there into the hands of investors, banks and industries. And of course, the final thing you should follow when it comes to trading gold is what's going on in the news. Major economic and political events 
often have an impact on the price of gold and can push investors to buy or sell the precious metal. Armed conflicts, elections, referendums, pandemics almost always push investors to do something with gold for one reason or another. Keeping an eye on the largest events and especially those that end up surprising markets is always beneficial for those trading gold. That's it. Thanks for watching another slightly different video uh, on gold from us. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. We do read all of them and I'll try and answer any questions you have. And uh, be sure to share this video with anybody you think might benefit from watching it. But from me, David Jones and Capital.com, we'll leave things there. Good luck with your trading. For more trading videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel.